okay so i have the tube here and the image detector and everything lined up and i'm gonna be demonstrating the ap lateral and mortis view of the ankle and i'll also explain what they are used for what you could see when you do those particular views so i have my patient aka or CSI, who is so kind to come and let me demonstrate on her so she's gonna come up on the table she can come this way i'm not gonna show her <laughs> but we're gonna be using her foot <laughs> Right, so you can take off your shoes. You can sit down. You say no that way. Mm -hmm, and you're swinging up your both feet. Yeah. <laughs> swinging both of them up on this side. Good. Oh, perfect. Right. I'm in need of an X ray. X ray, X ray. X ray, X ray. For the sake of professionalism. <laughs> Put it on after I got right? Because I'm gonna be touching up my foot. Right. So generally I have everything centered up here, right? I'll have to do some tweaks, but for the most part, that's where we are. So I can just wait a little bit. And tilt it this way. Right. Let me get to this button. Okay. So we're just gonna center her foot to the center of the detector. You want the but to be straight up so the toes will be pointing if you just show the toes pointing up right you can relax it a little right so you put in a natural position as if she was standing and for the AP this is basically perfect right you want the foot to be pointed straight up toes pointing straight up that's where you know that the ankle or the foot the entire lower leg is in a straight position you don't want any rotation of course, your centering to include the ankle joint, which is most important. In some cases, you'll be looking at trauma, you're not sure what's going on. According to textbook, you're supposed to get one third of the lower limb. So you could think about breaking up the foot into three parts, one, two, and three up to the knee. So we just open out a bit more just to get, just in case we need some more information a little higher up, right? But we make sure to include the ankle joint because it is, after all, an ankle action. We just have to put slightly. Okay, press it off down. Right. Make sure you clear the malleolus on both sides. And you get just to where the border of the foot is. You don't need to include the toes because you're not looking at that, right? Now, this video is not about marker placement and stuff like that, but you want to leave enough room for collimation. And in this case, your marker will go outside or lateral to the part, which will be here. Alright, so toes pointing straight up and that's your first image and AP ankle. Now that we're done with this one, I'm going to quickly show you the, uh, the mortise. And this view in particular shows you the mortise joint. It shows you the articulation of the tibia to the talus as well as the articulation of the both malleoli to the talus, okay? In this case, you want to angle the foot to the side and a big tip for this in order to make sure that you get the ankle joint open nicely. You have the patient put their foot up the same way. A lot of times, they'll come in and their foot will be down like this, but you just straighten it back up. And you palpate, you touch, you feel for the both malleoli here and you rotate it in until your both fingers a parallel to each other from the distance to the table, right? So now that you know you have it good there, both of them lining up fine, that's it there. Same, centering, everything, right? Make sure you have room for your marker, you put that there and you're good to go. So the last thing we're gonna do, and I'll take it now, okay, have a rest. <laughs> right, the last thing, you, now you can turn to your side, turn in towards me, we're gonna demonstrate the lateral. So, a lot of times people mix up the requirements for a lateral ankle versus a lateral tib fib or a lateral tibia fibula, lower limb, right? Lower leg or just leg in general, right? The requirements for a lateral ankle is that you want superimposition of the tibia and the fibula on each other. 
you don't want them separate like with a tip fit when you're trying to look at the boat because at the end of the day you're looking at the ankle joint and you want everything to align properly so you can see if there's any dislocation or displacement of the bones that articulate at that point so just as her foot is here it's actually almost perfect right so you're just gonna bend the knee a bit you could bend right so we disregarding the direction of the detector and stuff like that for now, just showing you the position. Right? Let's imagine that the detector was tilted or twist to line up with the direction of the beam or the, the steering of the box, right? And you want to make sure and clear the heel. And it's always good to get a piece or at least like the head of the fifth metacarpal actually the base of the fifth metatarsal not carpal because we're looking at the foot right and the difference between an ankle and a tip fib lateral is that with the ankle the toes are pointing up slightly and so that allows the bones to line up with each other if she were to drop her knee and drop her foot down completely flat against the table then there would be a throwing off of the bone but remember, we really want that superimposition of the tibia and the fibula for the ankle. Similarly, um, just like with the others, you don't want the foot to be like this, nor like that, because it will show an unnecessary foreshortening or lengthening of the joint space, right? And that's basically how you do well. The foot will be super flat. That's basically how you do a lateral ankle. Epi, mortis, and natural. So yes, thank you so much patience and I hope that this video was helpful and you all can check out the others and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!